900 volunteers celebrated the annual Nancy Perry Day of Caring, assisting organizations throughout Shawnee County. Their day began at the Beacon downtown. They came together for a breakfast and heard from retired United Way CEO Nancy Perry, the namesake for the day, as she gave some remarks. Standout volunteers were recognized for this year's Ad Astra Honors. Crews then headed out to their project sites, kicking off a day of giving back to local nonprofits. Day of Caring volunteers were at more than 35 sites around the community. 13's Callie Holthouse stopped by two of them to hear from those giving their time. Callie? Melissa, that's right. I went to the Children's Discovery Center. Volunteers there helped clean and sanitize the space before heading over to the Topeka Zoo where they were prepping for this year's Zoo Lights. Nancy Perry Day of Giving encourages people to get involved in their community by helping out nonprofits in Shawnee County. Cindia Williams, a volunteer from Evergy, was at the Topeka Zoo helping prep for this year's Zoo Lights event. Every year we bring our kiddos, so they enjoy it. Never think about like all the hard work that takes behind the scenes to put up all these lights, but yeah, it's, it's a good time. She says it's hard, but fulfilling work. It looks easy, but it really isn't. It's hard to stand and to be on your knees or squatting down, um, roping and threading the lights. But at the end of the day, it's satisfying because it's for our community. Williams was one of 900 volunteers spread out across Shawnee County completing projects for 35 nonprofits. But why do they do it? Nancy Perry, who the event was named for, explains it's a way to give back to organizations positively impacting the community. It's a real thank you to them too that we can get out and do that because they're all limited with staff. They only have so much time and so I think they also appreciate us going in and helping out and do that. Perry volunteered at United Way for 50 years before taking an official position and eventually retiring as CEO. She was delighted to see so many people eagerly giving their time and service to Shawnee County's nonprofits. I think it's to encourage people no matter what your age you can volunteer and then to see it happen to see over 900 people out in the community today doing that. I think that makes everybody feel good. It does me for sure. 25 businesses in Shawnee County sent volunteers out to help out today. David?